All right. Let's get started. First, some housekeeping rules. If you have not figured out where the toilet is, there's a treasure hunt. So if you can't figure out, too bad. Um, but because I'm nice, I'm going to tell you that you just follow the glass panel. Do not go out of the glass doors. Follow the glass panels and keep following it. You should be able to see the signs to the, to the restroom. Okay? So uh, another housekeeping, there's a lost and found umbrella. If it's yours, raise your hand. So I'm going to throw it to you. If not, come and look for one of the, one of the people in, in a tech ladies t-shirt and we'll, we'll try and give it back to you. Alright, my name is Elisha and I'm the founder of Tech Ladies and today I'm so happy to see all of you here taking time out in the evening to join us today. Um, if you have no idea where you are, you're at a Tech Ladies Bootcamp 3 graduation party plus birthday bash. I promise you this is, our this is the only event with an overly long title. Our titles are usually pretty short. Yes. So this is here, here is what we're gonna do today. So I hope all of you are you know, nice and full, you know, hopefully not in a food coma stage yet. Uh, we're gonna hear a lot of talking. I'll start talking first, and then there'll be some presentations done by the Tech Ladies Bootcamp graduate, and we'll end off with a panel discussion before I have some you know, secret gift, um, and then we'll close for the day. So first of all, I'd like to thank all of our sponsors for helping us keep this, this event free um, and, and amazing, right? I mean, you had good food, you have swag. Um, so I'd like to just give them a shout out. So first of all, thank you Google Developers for sponsoring the place. Neural Planner, Terry, General Assembly, who's giving us a 50% discount. Check your goodie bag for the discount code. So they run a lot of classes, technical and also uh, some finance and yeah, it's pretty cool. Check it out and we also, one of our sponsor is Amazon AWS an on-demand cloud computing platform. They're giving us $3,000 credit, again super awesome. And Nail Deck, a uh, company that aims to create a world where anyone and everyone can celebrate their individual uniqueness through colors. They're giving us the $8 discount and men can also put on nail polish suit too, just saying. Express yourself with colors. So our bronze sponsor on the right is uh, Live Love Luna. It's an eco-friendly business based in Singapore, specializing in reusable menstrual products, menstrual cups, reusable cloth pads, period underwear, and sea sponge tampons. They aim to be the leading information in Asia for people who menstruate. It's really super cool how our how our sponsor, our our scope of sponsor is very tech ladies. Amazing. So our silver sponsor is ThoughtWorks. It's a global technology company, and uh, they are running a new program, a three-month programming, coaching and mentoring program for individuals who want to learn technical skills and get a job in the tech industry. So through this program, you will get specialized, uh, personalized coaching from seasoned technologists. And uh, they also have partners who help you get a job after the program. So applications close. Oh, okay. Right, why, why don't you stand up so that you know? For this face or this face? Look for one of the few men. I think, I'm sure you just look for men who dress in white, you'll get one of those thought, thought workers. So applications close on the 15th of January, it's really soon, so do apply ASAP. Okay, last but certainly not least, because it's our largest sponsor. Uh, it's our goal sponsor, Zendesk, a cloud-based uh, customer service software and support ticketing system. So a bunch of them are here as well. If you work at Zendesk, why don't you just raise your hand, make a little bit sound. Woo, that's a lot. All women, great. So now I'm going to welcome Lo Sheng to address the crowd. Clap la. Hi everyone, um, welcome to the event. My name is Lo Sheng, I'm from Zendesk, your accidental gold sponsor for the night. I didn't know, that, uh, I actually didn't know they were a gold sponsor. Uh, when I was approached uh, by the organizer, and said, you know, we're a little bit short of money for dinner, uh, could Zendesk sponsor the dinner? And I thought, well, I have to eat too, right? So I said, yeah, okay, we'll sponsor the dinner. And then I just came here and realized that uh, because we sponsored the dinner, we became the gold sponsor, 
and uh, unfortunately, you know, you're forced to have um, three captive minutes to be with me. So I thought maybe I'll take the chance to just introduce to, to you about Zendesk. Probably some of you probably already use, you know, you might be our customers and I'm on your payroll. But if you're not, just uh, allow me to give you a quick introduction about Zendesk. And um, let's start with Zendesk Singapore. Zendesk Singapore, some of you probably know, uh, started by Zopim. Three young guys, you know, in uh, 2005, after the NOC program, they did nothing spectacular, totally wasted the government money, and decided to come back and sell everything that they had on Craigslist, and decided to come home to Singapore. And the problem is selling on Craigslist is you have to wait for emails to come in. And they thought, well, you know, it would be nice to be the way to do instant messaging over the web. And they thought, wow, this is a brilliant idea. So they came back, they pitched the vaporware, you know, to, um, to, to, to an investor. Investor say, all right, you know, show me the prototype since uh, the idea sounds interesting. And, um, and one of the founders spent a couple of months working day and night and, and work out the, the prototype. Uh, it was not funded. Uh, you know, the investor was not interested. So what happened subsequently is they, they picked up the iGen fund with 50,000. They thought, you know, this is still a very cool idea. I'm sure this is a world changing idea. So by the time they raised the fund, they realized that the live chat is actually a pretty mature industry. There's like, a, you know, if you do a search for live chat, there's a lot of them. And they didn't know, they didn't know, they didn't know at all, but they've gone so far. So that's how it was started, uh, completely clueless, completely not the way to build a business, absolutely not the way that you will do, your, you know, you will do your next startup. But eventually, um, at the same time, 2007, you know, three guys in Copenhagen, they started uh, with, um, just be working, they were all working on IT support. And if you work on IT support, you know how terrible the ticketing system is. So they said, oh, this is terrible, you know, we can do something better. And they started building Zendesk uh, as a better IT support system. But by today, Zendesk has gone beyond that. We're really a company that helps you to understand your customer better. It goes beyond just ticketing. Uh, we have chat, uh, we have analytics, um, we have voice uh, for voice call communications. So now we are complete CRM solutions. So now that's about 10 years. And um, I think one thing that stood out when I joined Zopin and I met the people in Zendesk, I think one is very special about the company is we're an extremely product focused company. Um, for a lot of enterprise software, a lot of businesses will choose to build for the managers who has the purchasing power with feature list. I think one thing that's unique about us is we're always very focused on building software for people who use the software. So I think that's, I, if you ask me what's most unique about Zendesk and Zopim, um, there will be one. Number two is the accidental success of a Singapore success story. Uh, people were just fueled by passion in technology, has a big dream and completely clueless. So for those of you who are preparing to step into tech, um, welcome and definitely we'll be seeing you guys around. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lo Sheng, for addressing the crowd. Uh, is Zendesk hiring? All the time. All the time. So if anyone's looking for opportunity, you know who to look for. All right, I'm going to take the next few minutes to share with you more about what Tech Ladies is. But before that, I want to share with you more about why I started Tech Ladies. So, I am not a software engineer. I know it's a little bit odd. So I am a psychology graduate, so I did psychology in school, and I, um, my technical skills back then was only in um, PowerPoint and also Paint, which is, I could create something super cool too, I think. But I really learned how to code when I was uh, building my own tech, found, tech startup, and I couldn't find a tech co-founder. That's when I started to learn programming, and through this journey, I, there's a few insights that I gained. So the ability to code, to me, is a superpower, and I think it's amazing. So a lot of pro problems that I face can be solved with technology. And when I can code, I simply think of a tool that can solve my own problem, and build it myself. Oof, superpower. But then when I look around me, um, and I started to wonder, programming is really interesting, but where are the women? I think one could write a 10-page uh, manifesto on the biological differences between men and women and how it relates to tech. Burn, for those who are already in the industry. But I do think that um, 
there is it's a shame that women choose not to enter the industry because they think it's not for them because they are women. And that is why I created I created the community led initiative called Tech Ladies for women to connect, learn and advance as engineers. So by community led I mean four things. The first thing is uh, we are not an we're not a real thing actually. We're not a registered company, we're not a we're not a non profit. Second, we are all just volunteers with our full-time jobs. And that means, third thing, we do need a lot of sponsors and volunteers. So please come and talk to me if, you're, if you have some skills you want to share. And the last thing is pretty, I would say, my favorite point. Because we're not a legal entity, we don't have a sound brand guide, my slides will have a lot of cats. I spend way too much time doing this instead of like, you know, my real job. So at Tech Ladies, we believe that technology is for everyone. The, the industry is male dominated. So we want to provide a platform, a place where women can come and learn how to code. Having said that, we are not anti-men. We are, we are for women, we are not anti-men. In fact, a lot of our coaches and mentors are male. So if you have volunteer as a coach, as a bootcamp coach or a workshop coach, can you stand up? <laughs> hey, why are you so shy? Okay. So let's uh, please join me and give them a round of applause, especially for the men. Okay, you can sit down now. So whether you're someone who is exploring the industry, or someone who is learning how to code, or someone who is already in the industry, we do have uh, different programs that you can join. And I'm going to take the next few minutes to share with you what we do at Tech Ladies, other than feeding you good food. So we have six programs under three pillars, community, education, and opportunity. If you, like me, can't really remember what we do, just remember CEO. Pretty smart, isn't it? No? No? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Awkward. So I'm going to start by sharing what we do under the community pillar. So through a community, we just want to give women a place to come together and hang out. So under this sort of pillar, we have Go, which is really us sharing about other tech events that we see and find, trying to find like-minded peers to go together. So I remember sharing a hackathon um, for a woman, and, and uh, a lot of people were, uh, were commenting on the post saying, wondering if they were good enough, technical enough to join the hackathon. And what happened was that a lot of women started to encourage one another, and they started forming teams to go together, to the hackathon together. For many of them, this is the first hackathon they've been. So I'm pretty, pretty excited to, about, about, to see more stories like that. For it, basically, it's just us getting together because we love tech and we love food. So, moving on to the education pillar. So we do have two programs. I'll start with the Tech Ladies Study, which really it, what is what it says. This is a self-reliant um, study group where we'll just meet every week at a cafe and learn how to code. And there will be, there will be one or two mentors helping to answer any, question, any questions that we have. The second is the coding weekend. Again, it is what it says. I'm probably pretty, pretty terrible at naming. So a coding weekend is a two-day workshop over a weekend teaching women how to code with Ruby, Ruby on Rails, and CSS HTML. So this photo was actually one of the, the it's the first. It's the first coding weekend workshop that we held that's initiated and organized by one of the bootcamp graduates. Her name is Sing Tian. So she put it together, and we taught 80 women in Kuala Lumpur how to code over the weekend. And under the opportunity pillar is uh, Tech Talks. Again, it is what it is. So this is an initiative started by another bootcamp grad, Kate. So through Tech Talks, we want to, we want to let women beginners to share technical topics of their, whatever they are learning. This helps women build their confidence in terms of public speaking and also show other people that programming can be for them. Since a lot of our community has also been asking us, asking us you know, what are the different roles in the tech industry, we also started this other initiative, office visits. The first office visit was organized by Ling over there. Probably a bit shy to say hi. Let's all say hi, Ling. 
Hi, Ling. <laughs> She's going to die of embarrassment now. <laughs> so in this, in this series of events, we go to different tech companies to hear from their female employees. In this case, it was at ThoughtWorks, again, one of our, our silver sponsor. And uh, in this photo, it, this photo actually happened after the main event ended. So a lot of people were just asking questions and there was an informal second panel discussion. Are you that guy? I'm on the right side. Yeah, yeah, this guy, right, in the t-shirt? On the right side. On the right side. Oh, oh, that one. Okay. Cool. Small world. Thanks for coming again. So, and the last thing, the last program is probably, probably all of you should know because you're part of this series of events, that's Tech Ladies Boot Camp. More cats. Maybe I should just give a prize for, you know, how many cats have we shown in my slide? So the Tech Ladies Bootcamp is a, a part-time accelerated learning program where we take women with beginner skills, train them to become professional programmers. And we teach them by having industry experts guide this woman to create products for non-profit organizations. So the, so far we have, um, grad, we have 29 graduates out of the three boot camps. And these are women from completely non-technical boot camp. There's a gymnast teacher, there are people from uh, they were previously air stewardess, finance, marketing, logistics. These are completely non-technical backgrounds. But so far through three boot camps, we have helped eight women find technical jobs. So I think that's good. And, and uh, through this program, we have helped nine organizations who have done, and we have done a, a film submission app, a adoption app, a uh, class management app, and a donor management app. So on top of technical, technical is great. We also help women to stand out in the industry by writing articles on them and pushing them to do talks and embarrassing them at events like Ling. <laughs> so I want to quickly share two, two, a story of two ladies. They may look alike. I assure you, they are different people, and you, <laughs> and you don't have to be, you know, wearing black specs and put your hair on the right side in order to to succeed in the industry. Just saying. So Clara has been struggling to learn Rails on her own for close to a year before she found out about about Tech Ladies Bootcamp and she joined. So before that, she was actually a fashion uh, fashion businesswoman, and her coach was impressed with her, so much so that he gave her an internship and she was converted into a junior software role after the internship ended. And Sing Tian, I think I've mentioned her name a few times now, so she was kicked out of a master's program and she was really down, it was really down after that. But she, through programming, she found her light and through the boot camp, she was hired by the startup, and today she works at a she work as a as a she work at a startup in Malaysia. She's spoken at Red Dot Ruby conference in front of the creator of the Ruby programming language. She has also organized a workshop in Malaysia, the one that we did. So it's pretty amazing to see how people give back to the community and pay it forward. Uh, and what's more amazing is that. They paid forward after receiving so much help for their, for their coaches who are volunteers. It's like a gift that keeps giving. So let's talk a little bit more about our latest bootcamp, our third iteration of our Tech Ladies Bootcamp. So this is thought by six coaches who are industry experts, people who have given talks at conferences, organized workshops, and have volunteered close to 100 hours through the bootcamp. So let's give them a round, a round of applause to thank them for their time. Thank you so much. So these coaches have uh, taught six ladies and uh, who helped to code for two organizations. So these ladies, they come from, again, a variety of backgrounds, including pets, finance, logistics, and, and logistics industry. Again, you don't have to be holding an animal in photos to join the boot camp. <laughs> It just so happened that it's always a, a trend somehow. So, but these ladies all have one common goal, to learn how to code while contributing back to the community. And I hope you're as excited as I am to hear what they've built through the program. So now I'd like to invite the team tech ladies, the team who has, who has uh, built an app for us. So, welcome team tech ladies. <laughs> <laughs> 